Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here from the uh, garden level of the Holman House. That's our studio today. And we are going to run up, of course, to one of the more beautiful spots in our state and uh, spend a little time with Warren Call. You will remember he is the president and CEO of Traverse Connect. And uh, Warren, thanks for jumping on with us because I know you are uh, housed up there with a bunch of fellow professionals. Uh, where are you and what's going on? Yeah, good morning, Chris. Uh, I'm coming to you from Crystal Mountain, the conference center at Crystal Mountain Resort for the uh, Michigan Association of Chamber Professionals annual conference. So a lot of uh, a lot of discussion about business and economic development going on here. There absolutely is. Let's uh, let's start this whole thing off by uh, reminding everybody of what Traverse Connect is. Yeah, thanks. The Traverse Connect is uh, the Traverse City Chamber of Commerce uh, function, as well as economic development for the five county Grand Traverse area around Traverse City. All right, so, and that has a little bit of history because at one time, it way back when the roots were in the Chamber of Commerce, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and we still have that. And we still are very proud of our Chamber Roots, a hundred plus year organization, which we continue to have many of the events and programs that we always have had from government advocacy to professional development. Uh, the, the Traverse Connect name is, is a continuation of that long legacy. And the, and the idea is to continue to develop our area uh, with with economic development and talent development initiatives. Well, it's great stuff. And you guys really come together up there like nobody else to get things done. So so what were some of the highlights from uh, summer and so far this autumn? Well, you know, what's what's been great, Chris, is that uh, many, many businesses, in fact, a lot of businesses I talk to are having record years. And that spans the gamut. It's not just a really strong uh, tourism sector. We've seen it in in hospitality, obviously, but we've also seen it in construction. We've seen it in, in development. We've seen it in our manufacturers have huge demand for their products and services. Our, uh, our agriculture companies are doing well. Our, our, our small but budding tech se sector is roaring, which has been great. So that's been the, the biggest takeaway from this summer has been just a, a great rebound after the pandemic and we're seeing it in spades. It's been, fan it's been a lot of fun. I'm glad it's crossed the board because it was pretty strategic or surgical in the way uh, people were affected. Some really benefited from COVID and others, of course, were, were pretty destitute over it. Um, if we can get the supply chain thing figured out, are you able to get the products, et cetera, up there you need? Well, and that, that really is the issue. It's a supply crunch all the way across the board. And while I say that our businesses are doing well, they're doing well and having great years in spite of some huge challenges, especially in the hospitality sector related to labor shortage. But uh, also, you know, the supply chain issues are just incredible. Trying to get a product from wherever it is, is, is a huge challenge. And then trying to pay for the shipping involved is another challenge on top of that. And then hopefully you get past those two hurdles and then you need to find somebody to actually do the work here at, at home. So that's been an issue. I was talking to a manufacturer the other day who explained to me that uh, pre-pandemic, some of the product that he buys comes on a container ship from, from Asia, $4,000 to pay for that container ship. Um, in, a, in a tough situation, if you need it in a rush, it's $6,000. Right now it's over 20,000, nearing $25,000 per container, just for the shipping costs. Yeah, and you know, especially if it's a small business, you you can't absorb that kind of a markup. No. So it's going to have no. to look like inflation as they hand it on. Um, so so what are the big projects you've got coming up and events? Well, we've got um, our annual Economic Outlook Summit coming up first week in November. That's our, our biggest event of the year. It's region wide. We, we pull in you know over 500 people from across northern Michigan. We have some great uh, national and regional speakers at that uh, headlining that was the chief investment officer from Fifth Third Bank, who's going to talk about both what we've seen in the economy over the last year, but more importantly, what we with what we can expect for 2022. We're going to spend a lot of time talking about, you know, when does the pig move through the python as far as the supply chain issues? What does labor uh, shortage issues and talent development look like going forward? That's going to continue to be a big issue for our businesses. So that's one of the big events we've got, we've got going on. We also are really excited about a, a new partnership that's really getting off the ground with Michigan Tech. Michigan Tech, great technical university, you know, world-renowned in its engineering programs and others. They have just uh, kicked off the new Grand Traverse area 
Michigan Tech location, which is a, a small uh, research institute actually housed here at our building at Traverse Connect building downtown Traverse City. But we're really excited to take that partnership to the next level. They've, they've been working with Northwestern Michigan College, our local community college for a long time. Uh, great partnership, but we're, we're excited to have them uh, physically boots on the ground now in Traverse City. That's, that's exciting news, and that is a wonderful university. So, so I've got about 30 seconds left. Tell me about talent. Are you able to get it? Yeah, the, we have been very, very focused on attracting talent because we need more people. Now, there's a whole host of ways to do that. I don't think a lot of uh, people from elsewhere, workforce from elsewhere, realize that it's not just all beaches and pie here. Of course, the beaches and pie are fantastic, but we have a lot of great companies in technology and manufacturing and other sectors that when people realize the jobs that are here, that they're much more uh, interested in it. Of course, we've got we've to address housing costs as part of that as well. Well, I'll tell you what, Warren, it's always good to spend time with you, and you're in one of the most beautiful places on the planet. Warren Call, of course, President and CEO of Traverse Connect. We'll talk to you soon, my friend. Have a good conference. Great. Thanks, Chris. All right. You're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman. We'll be back with more.